Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides, and I am here with this outstanding Dodge Challenger RT Scat Pack. I want to give a big shout out to my buddy John for allowing us to borrow this amazing vehicle for today's review. So I know a lot of you are probably saying, where's the Dodge Challenger Hellcat? How come this Challenger? Well, guess what? By the end of this video, you're going to know that the Dodge Challenger RT Scat Pack is going to be the better all-around performer than the Challenger Hellcat. Let's talk a little bit about the history of the Dodge Challenger. Dodge Challenger came out back in the 1970s. In 1970, right at the pinnacle of the muscle car era, is where we see Dodge bring out this amazing vehicle. It was produced from 1970 to 1974. And I don't know if you're aware, but what wound up happening was the reason why they killed off the Challenger, as many of the other muscle cars were killed off, is because of the government's EPA and the tight restrictions on fuel economy and emissions that caused these awesome beloved cars to disappear from the market. Now there was a time in 1978 when Dodge brought back the Challenger nameplate, but we're not going to talk about that because just like a lot of other cars that were made in the late 70s, those are better to be forgotten. Now fast forward to 2008, Dodge Challenger is back again and as you can see it is back even better. This is a 2016 Challenger RT Scat Pack in that wonderful, glorious B5 blue. Let me show you that we're going to start off, I think the best place is at the front. Let me go ahead and show you the front of this vehicle here. Now because this is the RT with the scat pack, which first of all, if you notice, you'll see RT here in the grill, and then you also noticed it at the beginning of the vehicle on the hood, RT stands for road and track. That's been an option package in Challengers under the Dodge umbrella for years, and that lets you know that you have something a little bit more than your standard Challenger. This one has the Scat Pack package. First off, feature your eyes on this huge front splitter that's featured in flat black. What this is gonna do is two things for you. It's gonna stop air from going underneath the front of this amazing vehicle and lifting it. We don't want that. Another thing it's gonna do, it's gonna force feed air into the radiator. This car has a 6.4 liter, 392 cubic inch V8 that produces over 500 horsepower. Now I know that the stat sheets say 485, but John has done a little bit of trickery underneath the hood and in with the ECU that has now producing more than 500 horsepower. If you notice here, this beautiful satin finish accents on the grill this isn't something that Dodge just threw on there because it looks good. This actually ties it back to those 1970 Dodge Challenger muscle cars. And as you can see, just perfectly finished, just like in the past. Let's work our way to the side of the vehicle. As you can see, that B5 blue, just so you know, if you want it, too late, it's gone. 2016 was the last year that they produced the B5 blue paint job. And I'm telling you right now, with the traditional muscle car flat black, it really makes this car pop in the sun. Let's go ahead and keep working our way around the side here, focus on these front wheels. These wheels are 20 inch forged aluminum wheels that only come on the scat pack. Forged is going to be lighter than cast, lighter wheel, better performance. If you can zoom in a little bit here, right behind the wheels are Brembo brakes. Now, Everybody's so concerned about how fast can you go? How fast is this car? How much horsepower does it have? Guess what guys? After the race is over, we got to slow down. These Brembo brakes, they are known as the best in the industry. Four piston calipers in the front, two pistons in the rear, and if you look closely, they even have fully vented, and you see those lines there? Those are the grooves to help dissipate the heat because just like in the engine compartment, heat for the brakes is a bad thing. Let me go ahead and show you real quickly the Bumblebee, the famous Dodge Bumblebee, 6.4 liters. If you see this car pull up next to you, you might want to think twice if you see this emblem on the side. That means it has the scat pack, which is going to have that 392 cubic inch monster of a motor. So it may not wind up good for you if you go to race them. Let's work our way down the side. As you can see, the beautiful muscle car lines are so clear and present. I'm telling you right now, I don't care if you're a Mustang fan, I don't care if you're a Camaro fan, Dodge hit it out of the park with getting their styling to be just like the classic 1970s Challengers. 
Mustangs are close, and I don't know about you, but those Camaros look like Transformers. This car is just muscle car beautiful. Let's keep working our way down the side here, and as you can see, the glimmering of that B5 blue. Let's check out the rear. Now, 2016 was an important year for the Challenger. Since 2008, the car has basically been the same, and to the untrained eye, you may think that it still is the same, but there were two distinct differences. The changes up the front, which I showed you already, and the changes here in the rear. They really cleaned up the rear. They gave us these two beautiful LED taillights. These are reminiscent of those previous Challengers from the 70s. And to top it all off, check out this huge flat black spoiler. This is part of the Scat Pack package, fully functional. It's not all show and no go. At speed, this is gonna give you some downforce to keep that tail down so that you're not spinning up your tires. Just look at it. Look at the beautiful exhaust finishes. Dodge really did their homework with this. They did not rush the program. They waited and they did their time and their homework. There she is, the heart of this beast. It's a naturally aspirated, no turbochargers, no superchargers, just pure raw power. 392 cubic inches, 6.4 liter. Like I told you, John did a little trickery under the hood. What he did was he put a cold air induction system on it. Right here is the cold air induction system made by Air Raid. What this does is it helps feed cold air into the engine. Those hood ducts that you probably saw on the hood at the start of the video, those hood ducts are functional. It's gonna bring air from outside into the engine, and that's the problem, guys, is the hot air. We don't want that air being hot when it goes into this motor because cold air is more dense. The denser the air, the more power you're gonna get. So with the air raid system and some trickery that he's been doing with the tuning of the computer on this car, it puts out 500 horsepower. This car, with this setup, you're looking at zero to 60 in four seconds. Yes, you heard that right. Four seconds and a quarter mile time of 12.5. Just so you know, quarter mile, 1,320 feet. It's amazing that this kind of power can be taken out of this engine. And like I said, it's about the drivability. Yes, the Hellcat has more power. Yes, the Dodge Demon has more power. But this car, to daily drive each day, you're gonna get decent fuel economy, and guess what? You're gonna get the power to the ground because like I keep saying, your car can make a million horsepower. If you're just spinning the tires, you're not going anywhere. Check it out guys, I'm sitting in the cockpit of this amazing, amazing machine. These seats are so comfortable. They're actually Napa leather with a nice suede on the inside. It really holds you into place, it grips nice, but it's not like an uncomfortable type of feel. Check out the steering wheel here. It's got a nice grip on it for your hands, nice leather trim. Everything in here almost feels like an old Challenger the way that they have it set up, but it has the new 21st century technology. This thing has a whole system of uh, programming and shift lights and everything else that you can change to adjust this car. If you noticed here on the console, John decided to go with an automatic. Now I know you're probably saying, why an automatic? Why not a manual? Guess what? This torque flight transmission it's an eight speed transmission we live in a world today where the technology is better than the actual human shifting so with this eight speed automatic transmission he's going to get that over 500 horsepower to the rear wheels and it's going to be consistent so when he does go to the drag strip he'll always turn those consistent times instead of maybe missing a shift or shifting too slowly you could see on the center council here the nice trim 
everything, the fit and finish of this car. There's no shakes, there's no rattles. This is not like the muscle cars of the past. Everything is blended together in one cohesive package. Let me show you down by my feet. With the Scat Pack package, you get these beautiful aluminum pedals with extra grip on them. It's just the touches that add up to the complete package. So as you can see guys, this car, like I told you, it may not have all the horsepower of a Hellcat, but it really is the best all-around Dodge Challenger you could get. Over 500 horsepower, that Scat Pack with the nice aesthetic features, John really did not go wrong with this, and if you're thinking about getting one of these, I highly recommend it. You will be reliving those, uh, those days of just muscle car, the essence of the big engine and the raw power. And if you would like to see your car here on Rady's Rides, leave a comment in the comment section and I'll get in touch with you. And I would love to have your vehicle featured here. And I definitely am very appreciative and thankful of your support and watching today's video. Remember, I'll see you on the next Rady's Ride.